what's good everyone it's your boy today's video i'm hyped to give you guys this video why because bro pendulum is the best deck well it's the second best deck just saw my pendulum control deck i'm enjoying playing control i played eldritch a little last format i played orcus sky striker a while ago i like the control style this is a salamangre control with 25 traps baby you play 25 meaty traps to stop your opponent going first or going second. And utilize the Salamangre engine for control. And I'm showcase you guys just how powerful this is. So if you guys are ready for this video, I want you guys to smash the subscribe button. Video with the 1,000 likes. Check out down in the description below if you guys want to get trained and coached by the Pen God. Go check out the Patreon down below just now for the immediate future. 15% off a yearly membership. And you get amazing perks such as a free playmat on entry uh, of your yearly membership on Patreon. So go sign up right now. So with that being said, let's join you guys. The second best deck in the format. Solid Andre, baby. Let's go. Who's ready for some Salad Mangre greatness? This is gonna be so beautiful. Look at this. That was a strike, by the way. So going second, all you have to do is don't summon the Lady Debug. You set your rivalry, set your needle ceiling, set your ice prison, and the card you drew a solemn strike for turn. So that's four traps, and that kills your opponent. If that was a Salaman Great Rage, you go normal debug. If they have negates, don't even use debug. Just go with the bane link set four. You have a solemn strike with all these cards. You have built-in solemn strikes in this deck. That's why I don't want to play no hand trap bullshit in this deck. Just heavy traps. Now that Stalio's back, for those who don't know the combo, I will show you guys this combo, how to do Stalio now. It's old combo for you guys used to play, but for any new players, just so you guys get an idea before we get into a, a, a video, a, a match, and the deck profile. So the idea behind it is you can do it multiple ways, but uh, your typical way will be Signet Mining or Debug. Uh, you use Gazelle to send Spinny. If you already have Spinny, send, send Roar. Then you this is how you get your follow-up. The follow-up idea is that you're going to get three big monsters on board. You go uh, Stalio to summon out Jaguar. You're going to use Jaguar effect here. Bring that out. Add, add. And then you're going to be able to add the Roar. Add the Gazelle back with the effect of Wolf. And what this does is it gives you two big Grave effects every single turn. So your follow-up is going to be Spinny and Jaguar and Graveyard. Your follow-up is three big Salamangre monsters over 1800 attack that your opponent must deal with that are protected with Bane Lynx. So you already have an amazing follow-up on the graveyard and the field, and you get back your Gazelle, which is the most important part of Stalio. This is the beautiful part of this, is that you're, you're such an incredible follow-up, and your opponent must stop your board. Your opponent must clear your board or lose. With the addition now, something that Stalio never had, uh, now turn to you, you have these cards like Axis Code Talker, you have the Link 2, the special cell, link, any Link 2 turns into Axis Code Talker, you could get access code talker to 10,000 attack, 5,300 attack twice. So because of that, it's very easy to OTK with this version. And your opponent is not fucking doing anything. I promise you, he's not doing anything versus these four traps. Even against Drytron, you wait for them to go into the XYZ to Zeus your board. Then you just flip rivalry and they auto lose. So even with the additional these gates, you kill every single matchup. Uh, you think Needle Saint does nothing against, against Sky Striker? Flip up rivalry on Ray and we'll see how they feel. You just absolutely destroy that deck and every other deck. So I love the traps in this. And going second, you played legit, I'm not joking, you played 26 traps, uh, 27 maybe. And then the rest of the 13 are just one of each of the minimum engine requirements, two spinnies, and then just all one card starters to get Gazelle. And if they stop one, you don't care. You just set four, wait till you draw another of your 13, and then you just kill them. All you need is any Salamangra and you kill them. So I'll show you guys, uh, just this is how the trap deck looks like every turn. This is a combo of just a normal Salamangre where you're with hand traps are still powerful. Like you still could have access to like big, big interruptions like this and you still have solid a solid board. But the idea behind the traps is doesn't matter when you draw them, turn one, turn 11, they're amazing. Doesn't matter going first, going second, they're better. Traps are better and they just do way more. Would you prefer a Needle Ceiling or an Ash Blossom? Like the, if Ash Blossom said destroy, if your opponent controls four monsters, destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Wouldn't you want a needle ceiling instead? The format slowed down. You can play way more traps. And for any deck that puts up okay, OTK turn two, they're not OTKing through your five traps. So now I'm going to showcase you guys a replay that I dueled in a Salamangre mirror match against my boy Razak. It's my boy Abdul in real life. Uh, really good, great match here. And this is when I was a newbie with this deck. So I'm not even, I don't even know a lot about it, but I still know enough to be able to play properly with it. So here, uh, 
I have Rage, Torrential, and Ice Prison set, and this could go a few different ways depending on how he wants to do this. I could have done those interruptions a little better. I preemptively use Rage so I could just add it back. I thought it would be a free pop one. I get some damage in. I use Wolf here to try and get it back, and he does that. So what I should have done here was I normal summon the Spinny. I, I could have done a lot more damage, man. I could have brought out the Spinny, done some other stuff, Transcode. I could have access code. I could have done a lot of stuff. I could have arguably killed him. But I did a, little, so a few mistakes there. But there's a lot of cool ways to kill. But he had a set. So it's a good thing that I didn't go too hard. He top decks the Cosmic, which is unfortunate for me. He's going to go into Stalio here with the uh, with the cool play there. Where you could summon Ecclesia as an extender. And then go into Ash. He's going to end up with his board here. So he's going to have an Ash and a Rage. And uh, we're going to have to see if we can stop that. We're not going to be able to stop it. Game 1 will go to my opponent. But this is just showcasing you guys some cool interactions in the mirror match and there's just nothing i could do here uh because i know he has a rage so anything i go into he's gonna pop i try and play a little smart and like not pop anything i make a mistake of entering battle phase huge mistake i don't know what i was thinking i like he was gonna pop my two sets anyways i thought maybe it'll big brain but it just did nothing so here this is the this is the beauty so you see how i just set three you don't need to open a salamangre and this hand's gonna prove it i my opponent is signing mining you know i have these three traps and I don't have access to any Salamangre card. The beauty of it is that your opponent, if you don't open Salamangre cards, you're not opening bricks like Ghost Bell or something. You're opening cards that stop your opponent by themselves. So Salamangre is a deck that uh, you just, you don't need to go off turn one. You wait till you draw your Salamangre cards. Here I'm gonna go to Trap Trick, to Storm Duster, his back rows, and I'm lit. So what do I draw? I draw into a Foxy, like I said, just wait. Imagine this Ash Blossom and Ghost Spell where cards like Ice Dragon's Prison or a Trap Trick to get Ice Prison or something like that. Or Needle Ceiling or Torrential if you're playing a combo deck. They're a lot better than just Ash and Bell. He does Ash my Foxy, which is fine. It doesn't matter. Like it does. The idea behind it is it doesn't matter. Next turn, I'm going to bring this Foxy out. Next turn, I'm going to get another Silent Man Great and we're going to OTK. This is The way you OTK with this deck, two Cybers Monsters equals 5,300. Three Cybers Monsters equals 10,600. So we can very easily OTK. I bring another Banelings, he uh, top deck Desires, which is fine, I have double Torrential. And now here, uh, he goes Sinet Mining, he gets a Spinny. Now at this point, well, I want, I do not want him to get a Banelings in the graveyard, otherwise, Torrential is not good in the Salamander Great Mirror match because if he gets a Banelings in the grave, the Torrential, will be, uh, it'll protect from Torrential. So I want to stop the Banelings from even hitting the field. So I Torrential that right away, protect, I, like I said, he's drawing his Salaman Great, Roar, Summon, I'm going to get a Counter Trap for next turn. I set up, I could have done 5,300 damage this turn. Wasn't enough uh, to actually kill him. And if you don't recognize him, I'm 5,200, so I'm putting him on a one turn clock here. I get the Counter Trap, and there's nothing you can do here. I just Torrential, and uh, that's game. So we're going to go to game three here. And game three will showcase a lot of how good the traps are. Not just in the mirror, but in everything. So, Solemn Judgment is not a good trap going second. But this format has slowed down so much, and like you, don't, you could very freely use the Solemn Judgment going second in this format. And you're gonna notice Full House, which I think is one of the most underrated trap cards in any trap deck. It literally it says target two other basic spell traps and three set spell traps in the field, destroy them all. Doesn't matter if it's yours or your opponent's. So you just chain your own cards. So even if your opponent has only one face up, let's say one Sanctuary, I just chain, use all your chainable traps at the same time. And you target one of your face up ones so you have two face up ones but when you just activate one your opponent has and you just pop three sets that your opponent has so it's very very good like that uh so here uh, he, he orders my circle which sucks i kill him there i just set i pass so i want to play this very safely i have uh ice person at full house i want my full house to resolve in a smart way i don't want to just waste my full house on my own cards i'm waiting for him to set are you going to notice a play here where I let him plus a little bit? Uh, I use the fact here he wants to save the XYZ material for Zeus. Uh, I don't negate, uh, negate anything. I just let everything go. And I want you guys to see, so I'm going to negate the Zeus. And I want you guys to see this cool big brain play here where he has Gazelle. I'm letting him get an Ash. I could have easily negate this with Ice Prison. But I want to make sure my full host clears this whole board. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I know he's going to do this. And he goes into the Wolf. As the last card, I know he has a Gazelle, I know he's an Ash, but this perfectly saves me for uh, clearing everything he has because he's gonna search the Rage, giving, I know I'm gonna pop it. So at the end phase, I go full house, targeting his two face-up cards and his sets. 
uh, to clear everything. So, and I chain my ice prison once I target it. And then I draw into Lady Debug, he ashes it, which is totally fine. I have a Salamander Circle anyways. And if he ashes this, I didn't care. Trap Chick will get another ice prison to stop the gazelle, whatever it's gonna get. So it didn't matter what I got. It could be a, it could be a, any Salamander in the planet. Salamander Gazelle would have been enough. So I Salamander, uh, Spinny, Jaguar, any Salamander. So that's the beauty of this deck. You just wait and wait and wait. Stop your opponent with cool cards and you, you just easily win. So here I'm just gonna OTK uh, with Splash Mage, Access Code, Attack for Game. So this is how a lot of the duels went that I, I played. I have about 10 matches with this deck, maybe 20. That is just the same thing. You just outgrind them until you wait for the opportune time to do 5,300. This is just a generic deck list for uh, Salamander Great. If you guys don't wanna put a trap version, but I absolutely recommend the trap version. And this is my trap version. As you see, 23 traps, but I do count Ash Blossom as a trap, so 26. The only reason you're playing Ash Blossom is because it's a fire that you could get back with Salamander Great Wolf. It's the only reason that you're playing Ash Blossom. And it does come up a lot where you wanna get it back with Wolf. And it's a level three where you can do some plays with it. As you notice, only one will, only one Jaguar, only two spinny because one could get banished uh, while it's on effect, one Falco, then you just have your starters. You know, I, I took out Signet Mining as well. As good as Signet Mining is, it's the only card that hurts when you get Ash Blossom. I don't want to neg one and get Ash Blossom. If anything else gets Ash Blossom, I don't really care. And this is just a style of deck we're playing. You're not playing a Turbo Salamander Great version. You're playing an extreme control version. You can't even play Desires because of how little monsters you're playing. Control, boys, control. I can't stress this enough. You could have five turns where you don't open a Salamander, it doesn't matter. The idea behind it is that any, any one turn that you get going, just one turn, one turn that you get going, and it could be turn four, it doesn't matter, will get you Spinny and Jaguar and Grave. And all you want is to get Spinny and Jaguar and Grave, and Stalio allows this. So whether you go Gazelle, Circle, Debug, or Foxy, those are your eight st starters. Because you play four Salaman Great Traps, you can trigger Foxy very easily. And now going second, look at these traps, bro. Like they're fucking insane. They're actually insane. Especially you have to play three Roar because it's your six Solemn Strikes. This deck just works incredible. And in, the fo in this format, if you look at the format, okay, uh, what are you scared of? Sky Striker? Your side deck, your main deck kills Sky Striker. But you can remove some cards like Torrential, it's not the best for a Sky Striker. Put in Gozen match. Rivalry and Gozen kill that deck. Put in some Solemn Judgments. What about the Mirror match? Well, you put in Nibiru's, you can take out Torrential if you want, unless you don't want to use it for the normal summon because the Bay Links is not the best. It's so good for this entire format. Drytron, we're prepared for it. Every deck we're prepared for. It. We have nine counter traps post side deck against combo decks. So against combo decks, you just set five and you kill them. So this is the idea behind the deck. The extra deck is, is, is perfect. Uh, uh, you can't take anything out. It's exactly as you need it. And it's fucking amazing. I love this deck. And if I were to play a control deck, this would be the control deck I would play. I think it's insanely underrated. And I would not even add any more Salaman Great cards. I think they're just amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys got this far, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. And if you guys want to see the, a video with 10 matches with this deck with 23 traps, I think it's honestly the best deck after Pendulum. I really do. Any deck this format that plays many traps is going to be insane. Anyways, we're going to do another video. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Check out the Patreon down below. If you guys want to take advantage of 15% off discount for Healy members. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!